I always am a black girl. I don't get to erase that and it all affects my experience. Our stories tell all of those parts of who we are. When I grew up, which was mid early 60s, and there were not any books that had black characters to identify with that I came across. One of the reasons why I am a teacher, because that's growing up, I didn't see that many African American um, school teachers. I want to be there for a young girl like Marley or for a young girl like Paris and empower them and inspire them. I was sick and tired of reading about white boys and their dogs. And I enjoyed those stories that I was assigned in school, but my teacher did not um, pay attention to the fact that there was little to no representation of black girls in these books. And it really hurt my feelings. thousand black girl books it started from me sitting in my classroom loving to read loving my teacher and appreciating what uh, what lessons he taught me but never seeing myself uh, and girls like me as a vehicle for those lessons so after you know some reflection I realized that hey this happens at a lot of schools in New Jersey and then hey this happens at a lot of schools in the United States and then hey this happens at a lot of schools in the world So I think it starts with that first step of bravery, talking about what happened to me, but then also understanding that, hey, this happens to a lot of people and we need to do something about it and we need to do that now. I was in my classroom when I was in kindergarten this happened. My teacher was reading and it was the first time that a book made me want to do something. She kind of came home from school and I asked her, I'm like, Paris, you know, we have a free weekend this weekend. What are some things that you would like to do? And she was like, well, I really would like to make some bags and deliver them to the homeless. I just felt like something big would start happening if I, if I did that one thing. One way that Paris tells her own story is when she's handing out bags to the homeless, on the front of the bag, she writes an inspiring word like hope, pray, and love. And then she puts, you know, different types of stickers on the bag. And I think that's part of her way of telling her story, how she's feeling or what words of encouragement she wants to pass on. It's also a way of giving, giving people a little bit of you, Paris. That's kind of really neat. When I talk about you know, making herstory or having a legacy for women, it's also a legacy for black women. My experience would not be the same if I was a white woman. My experience would not be the same if I was a black boy, but it is that tiny spot where I'm both black and a woman that makes my story special. A lot of my storytelling does come from my own experience. And that's not just my Denise experience, but my experience being a black girl, being a black mother, being a black woman. When American Girl first approached me, the editorial director, you know, said they were thinking of doing this character set in 1963. And I said, yes, this is my time, you know. 1963, I was around the age of the American Girl characters. I think it's very important to portray real Black characters and, and Black people to Black children, but also to other children. Being an American girl means to me to make real the dreams that you have and become a strong, independent woman. When I think about being an American girl, I think about being so many different things and people and cultures and foods and practices that they make me proud of who I am as an American girl, but even more proud to be that Jamaican, Cape Verdean, American Black girl. I feel like I'm the hero of my story.
This has my name on it. This looks amazing. It looks exactly my, like me. It's the American Goth doll version. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and she has a bow just like you do, too. Do you always wear your bows? That's her signature look, her bows. Oh, my goodness. And we're matching. How is that possible? You know, I, I really would like to see a world where uh, Paris and I or any other black girls or, or girls that are interested in social activism are not an exception, but rather normal. I want to tell my story to different little girls. And once they get older, they'll tell it. And... I, I'm just very proud of her and very proud of her work. I want to keep on supporting her so she can keep adding on to her story. Oh, that's amazing. I, I would say that I want to be a part of that continuum of Black women who started out as Black girls who carry on all the things that we've learned and, and our sure ability to change the world, do as Paris said, and tell one, encourage one, let her encourage the next, let her encourage the next, so that we are always forward moving. <laughs>